Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari Hari Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Atvaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadhi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So one thing we learned from this pastime of Gajendra, how Gajendra 
we say Gajendra Moksha, but actually it was the crocodile which got moksha. Gajendra had to stay here, right? He, so when the Lord appeared, when Lord Vishnu appeared riding on the back of Garuda and killed the crocodile, then at that time Gajendra complained. He said, you know, I prayed. I was the one who offered the prayers, but you killed the crocodile. He got liberated and I'm still in my elephant body. And so Gajendra prayed that you please deliver me from this dumb body. I have to be in this elephant body. It's not suitable for myself for rendering service to you. It's so difficult for me to practice devotional service. So why did why did the crocodile get liberated when he was attacking Gajendra? So it's pointed out that the crocodile got liberated because he took shelter of the lotus feet of Gajendra, who is a devotee. Right? The crocodile was holding the leg of Gajendra, he was holding his foot for many, many years. We heard 1,000 years they were fighting. So the crocodile was holding on to that foot, of, it wouldn't let Gajendra go. And nobody could help Gajendra to get out of that where he was bathing in the lake there or in the river wherever he was bathing. Although Gajendra had come there with a herd of elephants. There used to be many, many elephants here. We were in Jarakan, we heard how Lord Chaitanya liberated all the elephants there in Jarakanda forest, and got them all to chant. So here also Gajendra was with his elephants, so many wives and baby elephants, they had all come, but none of them could save Gajendra from his plight. The crocodile was holding onto his foot and wouldn't let go. So, that's very nice actually, to hold on to the lotus feet of the pure devotee. Guru Mukha Padma Bhakya Chitete Kariya. The lotus feet of the spiritual master, lotus feet of the devotees, very powerful. So because the crocodile had taken shelter of the lotus feet of Gajendra, that's we could say that's why Lord Vishnu came and liberated the crocodile. He also, by his attachment, his strong attachment to the lotus feet of Gajendra, who was a great devotee, the crocodile also got liberated from his crocodile body. So very nice to see uh, how Gajendra could also be liberated by the mercy of Lord Vishnu. And Harihar is here in Navadvip, we were explaining, in Navadvip Dam, when we go to the nine islands, we visit the island of Godrum Dweep. And in Godrum Dweep, there is also Harihar Shetra. And it is, it is said that anybody who gives up their body in that place, Lord Shiva comes and chant his name, will chant the name of? Gauranga. Yes, the four syllables of Goranga. Right? There are two four syllable mantras. One is Hare Krishna and the other is Goranga. So by chanting the holy name in this Kali Yuga, we can be liberated. Just as Gajendra got liberated, Gajendra had to wait a thousand years fighting in agony with the crocodile holding his, biting his foot and wouldn't let go. Gajendra was in the water getting weaker and weaker and that crocodile was just holding on and he wouldn't let him out. And his wives and his children, they couldn't save him. Gajendra was the king of the elephants. But he got so much difficulty. But because he'd remembered a nice verse, he'd remembered nice prayers to the Lord, he could be, he could 
but in his difficulty he was able to recite them. And when the Lord appeared, then at that time Gajendra took a lotus flower and offered it to the lotus feet of Lord Vishnu. And in this way he achieved his perfection. This very important pastime for devotees, we always hear. It's described in Srimad Bhagavatam, Sukadeva Goswami has described in 8th Canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, the liberation of Gajendra. So we can also be liberated. We have to memorize some nice prayers to the Lord. So that's why in our morning program every day, we sing Govinda prayers. We sing so many prayers. Our whole sadhana is hearing and chanting. We're hearing nice prayers, we're chanting nice prayers. In, in Nectar of Devotion, Srila Prabhupada has written, one whose lips are always decorated with prayers to Lord Krishna is always given respect by great saintly persons. And such persons are actually worshipable by the demigods. So this way we're encouraged, of course, not that we want to be worshipped, but we want, we do want to use the tongue, use the lips to describe the glories of the Lord. So describing nice prayers, reciting verses, this is how we engage the tongue in the service of Krishna. Maharaj Ambarish, the great devotee who resided in Mathura, it is described, Sabaimana Krishna Padara Vindayar Vachamsi Vaikuntha Gunarna Varnane. Right? He engaged his mind first of all in the lotus feet of Lord Krishna and then Vachamsi Vaikuntha Gunarna Varnane. He was describing the glories of the spiritual world, Vaikuntha. In this way, Maharaj Ambarish was showing us how to perfect the use of this body in the material world. Use it to chant the glories of the Lord and to hear also the glories of the Lord. Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna also says, Mahatmanas to Mamparta Daivim Prakritim Ashrita. The Mahatmas, the great souls, are always chanting the glories of the Lord. And Prabhupada said, all devotees are Mahatmas. You shouldn't, don't think, oh, I'm not Mahatma. Prabhupada said, all the devotees, they're Mahatmas because they're engaging in the service of the Lord. Coming on the, this, this safari, visiting this holy place and hearing about the liberation of Gajendra, this is also Padasevana. This is using our legs in the service, in the service of the Supreme Lord. So we're very fortunate to have this opportunity today. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.